Christian principles, the sacraments of penance, Holy Eucharist, and the anointing of sick may be conferred on Eastern Christians who in good faith are separated from the Catholic Church if they make the request of their own accord and are properly disposed. For 20 centuries, the Catholic Church has consistently taught that heretics cannot receive the sacraments. Pope Innocent III, Fourth Lateran Council, 1215, Constitution Three on Heretics. Clerics should not, of course, give the sacraments of the Church to such pestilent people, nor give them a Christian burial. This teaching is founded on the dogma that outside the Catholic Church there is no remission of sins, defined by Pope Boniface VIII. Hence, a Catholic priest cannot give absolution to a non-Catholic in confession unless the non-Catholic changes his false beliefs and converts to the Church. For so long as one is a non-Catholic, his heresy is an impediment to his being restored to the state of grace by absolution. Therefore, the idea taught by Vatican II that a Catholic priest can give the sacrament of penance to an Eastern schismatic is a denial of the dogma that no one can have his or her sins remitted outside the Catholic Church. But Vatican II doesn't stop there. It says that non-Catholics may also receive the Holy Eucharist and extreme unction. This is outrageous. Those who receive the Eucharist outside the Catholic Church receive it to their own condemnation. Popes throughout the ages have proclaimed the dogma that non-Catholics who receive the Lamb outside the Church receive it to their own condemnation. Pope Pius VIII, May 24, 1829. Jerome used to say it this way, He who eats the lamb outside this house will perish as did those during the